In this series, we are exploring parts of the Ohio to Erie Trail on bicycle. The Ohio to Erie Trail project was launched in 1991, and the trail spans from Cleveland, Ohio through Columbus down to Cincinnati, Ohio. The trail utilizes the Ohio Erie Canal towpath from Cleveland through Maslin, Ohio. I was familiar with this section as I was able to help with drafting work on these sections during my internship in the early 2000s. From Maslin, the Ohio to Erie Trail parts ways with the towpath and follows the Rails to Trails Trail, sections that I was not familiar with and eager to explore. Rails to Trails is a national organization that started in 1986. Their goal is to help local communities convert old railroad beds into hiking and bicycle trails. Join us as we experience some of the Rails to Trails sections of the Ohio to Erie Trail. The first section of trail that we'll be going on is located in Holmes County, Ohio, which is the heart of Ohio's Amish country. Need to drop off the truck and then we'll all jump in the van together and ride up to where we're going to start the trail. So the section of trail that we're going to be doing actually starts in a town called Fredericksburg, Ohio, and extends down to Millersburg, Ohio. However, if you start in Fredericksburg, you will end up going down some country roads through the town of Holmesville. So we are starting south of the starting point of Fredericksburg in the town of Holmesville. So we will be starting in Holmesville and biking down to Millersburg on the trail. just been dropped off up in uh, Holmesville and we're gonna bike down to Millersburg that's about a five mile trip and then from there I think we'll we'll see how we feel we probably won't do the next section probably save that for another day from Millersburg to the town of Kilbuck but for today we just plan from Holmesville to Millersburg ready to get started yep. yeah. all right See how it goes. Okay, I'm going over to the good side of the trail. Why well, that thing's loud? So the noise that we hear from my bike, I just put new tires on this. And one tire rubs a little bit. Thank you. 
Taking another break here. See a walnut tree with wild grapevine climbing up it. There's where the grapes were. Looks like it's picked clean. Must be the birds. Looks like there's some poison ivy on it too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, there's some walnuts way up there. Yeah. I doubt you can see them on the film. Or camera, whatever. There's more walnuts. That's what walnuts look like when they come off of the tree. 
and basically you just get the husk off and there's the walnut which you, <coughs> most people are more used to seeing now these walnuts the wild walnuts uh, people harvest them and sell them so they are edible so this trail goes through a swamp right here we're going to start getting into a swamp this huge swamp that goes through it's called the Kilbuck Marsh can't really see it too well through the trees unfortunately maybe we'll find a more open place we can look at it there Coming to a street crossing. They have these stop signs. Street crossing. Gotta look this way. Gotta look that way. And then go. All right, see you in Millersburg. Oh my goodness. No way. You're not passing me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh-oh. Horse pucky. Watch out for landmines. Oh no. All right. <laughs> so my son and I are switching bikes on and off down the trail. Because the new tires on my bike, the tires rubbing so much. Really about wears me out. So we're switching back and forth. So all these trails, but especially this one, have these rest areas and people donate money and in memory of a deceased relative, they put these, pay to have these put up. But here's the marsh. It's a huge swamp. It's called the Kilbuck Marsh. This is the section that we're going through and there'll be quite a bit more as you head down to the actual town of Kilbuck. Lots of wildlife in there. As we sat on the benches resting, we looked out at the marsh and discussed our trip thus far. It was quite enjoyable. It was a beautiful day. Birds were singing, breeze was blowing, and eventually we were on our way once more.
into the ditch. <laughs> Well, it's no camping on these trails, on like trail side, you can't camp, but there are places along these trails, along the Holmes County one. So far, this is the only thing we've seen as of yet. There is a cabin place. And uh, they have trail access. And we're down on the trail. And this is an offshoot. You can see their cabin right up there through the trees. And we also found a campsite, a small campsite south of Millersburg, but it's not right on the trail. You have to get off the trail. Uh, but yeah, that's all the lodging we found that is on the trail itself is just this cabin place. Let's head back, yeah. if we can. Once they take off, we can. Don't fly out on a trail.
Station, old railroad station, hip station, apparently is what it's called. Here's a map showing the entire trail. Starts from Cleveland, Ohio, comes down to all these other little towns, all the way to Cincinnati. So that's quite a trail. And the section we just did goes from, let's see, Millersburg, or uh, we went from Holmesville to Millersburg. Yeah, here's the section we did from Holmesville down to Millersburg Hip Station. is a really neat looking place. Look at the overhang on that. It's supposed to be an old train station and this trail is along an old train track so they when they take these train tracks out if the old stations are still standing, they turn them into administration buildings or something. Now well, there's what's kind of confusing. Yeah, that sign says Millersburg Depot, which I had seen that online, but I also saw Hip Station online. So apparently it, and it has a sign that says both as well, so apparently it has two names. But yeah, they've got a little park here. And the trail continues on southwards to Columbus and ultimately Cincinnati. picnic pavilion at the hip station lots of uh, picnic tables place to hang out in the back looks like a sort of I don't know countertop or bar like thing you can just kind of hang out here and if there weren't leaves on the trees you could look at this uh, big creek that passes by right here But, as I said, there's leaves on the things here, and you can't really see. Oh, there looks like there might be a path that goes down there. A lot of poison ivy on that trail. Yeah, forget that. Now, fruit smoothie. Sure hits the spot after a ride like that. Mm -hmm. It's about 75 degrees. Yeah, they have speed limit signs of 20 miles an hour. You gotta keep your bicycle under 20 miles an hour. I imagine a buggy, you know, if the horse was really running all out, he could probably hit uh, 20, 25. Yeah, the trail definitely needs maintenance. Overall, it was very interesting to see the uh, 
the old station. I think we underestimated the amount of water that we would need. We had six bottles of, I don't know, are they 24, 20, 24 ounce bottles, something like that. And we only had six of them. And it was not enough water for, uh, for what we were doing. It was kind of warm for a trip like that. In the morning, it wasn't bad. It was uh, in the 50s when we started out, but to hit 75, yeah, we definitely should have had more water. But we made it, and we have fruit smoothies now. Yep. If you like this video, please check out our channel as well. We have several other videos just like this one or very similar. On this channel we share in some of our adventures and experiences, hoping to inspire those who'd like to engage in the same types of activities, and showing you how you can do these things too. Our videos are mostly outdoor related, whether cooking over the campfire, or touching on homesteading, or foraging for wild edibles, or exploring, or hiking, perhaps camping, fishing, biking, boating, or maybe some builds of some kind. We try and maintain an element of fun as well as being educational and entertaining all at the same time. All footage and music are original as well. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't done so. If you'd like to receive notifications when we upload new videos, hit the notification bell as well. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.